Manatee County took a giant step toward opening a new high school in Parrish, and the school board is also moving toward merging two other schools. A busy night at the school district meeting. ABC 7's Ray Collins is just back from downtown Bradenton and has a wrap up. Ray. Yeah, indeed, a busy night, Haley. This was the uh, semester's final session tonight and one of the most productive in a long time. You may not have realized how overcrowded some of the high schools are in Manatee County, but listen to the superintendent. Lakewood Ranch is over 135% over capacity. Braden River uh, is over 120% over capacity. And Palmetto High School is just a little close to 110% over capacity. And that's exactly why the school board approved plans to move toward building a new high school north of the Manatee River on Erie Road. The land would cost about $2.3 million, but the cost of the new school would be about $75 million. But the board thinks there's no alternative. By all the development going on, it seems like a necessity uh, for our future. And we're supposed to be thinking about not just the present, but the future. And, and that's not the only student shuffle coming up. The board also voted to move the Wakeland Elementary IB program into the Johnson Middle School IB program, which would create a combined K through 8 program starting in 2017. Board member John Cologne says it makes sense. Uh, we don't like to move kids around unnecessarily, but sometimes it's for the greater good. And this is one of those instances. And one parent urged the board to play this one down the middle. This is not Wakeland closing. This is Wakeland and Johnson merging. And so our hope is that our administrators at both Wakeland and Johnson will work together and that this isn't Wakeland moving into Johnson. This is a joint effort. And also tonight, the board spent about $52,000 to settle two lawsuits from the Rod Frazier case. The former football coach was convicted of four counts of battery for abusing students and co-workers, Haley. And Ray, one of the two former employees still did not want to settle, correct? Yeah, that's true. In fact, another coach, uh, Steve Goulash, reportedly still wants to go to trial, but it may be too late. All right. Thank you, Ray.